Greetings, dear viewers. I'm Quill Quickcard, and welcome to the finale of Backpack Hero. Every single character has cleared the bottom floor at least once. It is time for Perks to put on their Eldritch Horror costume and head down in a standard run to end this. Let's see what you can offer me. I can get a rare item, a relic, or an item set. Why don't I risk it for a rare item? That is an explosive arrow. That... Uh, that's kind of useless to me. For now. Let the run begin. I have to clear three floors and still be ready to keep on going. Uh, up here, Thrush Soldier, Hermit Crab, two Hermit Crabs, that should be easy enough to fight. Uh, the start of runs are always a little difficult, but that's okay. I will have the opportunity to survive. We'll just do two hits and a shield, and then two hits. There's our first level up. As usual, prepare myself to get some good armor. Let's see. Um, hmm. I could go for the halberd. A uh, machete is pretty worth taking. Uh, I kind of like the idea of taking a lucky star to start. I I'm going to take this explosive arrow with me for right now. Uh, boss in this area is going to be the rooster. All it basically does is attack. Trade food for a cleaver... Don't really need that. Ooh, the Lunar Blade. And that's the one that can turn into the Mana Weapon? <sighs> really... I really don't have the room for that. Alright, screw the arrow. Okay. So, do I want five experience, or do I want crab and soldier? I'm pretty sure this is going to give me more than five total experience. Okay. Let's hit. And hit. And hit. So that's going to die before it attacks, and that'll mitigate all but two damage from the Thrush Soldier. Okay. Good. And stab, stab. Stab, block. And stab, stab. Stab, stab. More levels. I could really go for some, like, decent armor. Ooh, the Stacking Star creates a shuriken in this space. That's good to have. Um... Hmm. The Blessed Potion is pretty good. And the Blessed Herb, that's pretty good to have, too. Uh, Crow Bandit, Gremlin, Bearded Dragon, Nightingale. 
This should be the easier fight, I think. I'm pretty much going to be killing everyone. Yeah, that kills. Get a blessing. It's the big one that I can't use. I am going to need a very serious build if I'm going to go all the way. Okay, there's boots. Boots are good. Uh, the slat shield is objectively better than the buckler. I can take one more item. Uh, a toxic kunai is pretty good. Alright, I do want to kill that first because I do want the experience. What kind of a blessing can I get? Oh, the Angel Buckler! Um, weapons two spaces away get plus three damage. Adjacent shields get plus three block. Uh, that's pretty damn good. Now the shield is, or the sword is going to be hitting for ten. And I'm still able to get 11 block. Poison kills you. You die next turn to the sword. Easy. Uh, more boots. Interesting. I am curious. I can at least orient them like that. Dagger can be used once each turn. We can get some extra damage onto my weapons. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay, that's the end of the first floor. I have to play very carefully, I have to play conservatively, I have to play smart. I need to remember, I am putting together a build to clear this. Okay. He does have the Rage buff, which is one of the absolute best enchantments I could get. So, actually, let's check out the chest first. Uh, we've got... Ooh, the piggy bank for gold, yes. Uh, the 25 block. I am willing to trade the rose for a meal. Let's take on the super enemy. Okay. Uh, we have the rage guy, which is... Kind of a problem? But I can survive it. Yeah, that'll that'll be enough. Okay. He dies. Uh I can do one hit and still survive the turn without taking any damage. Um, getting past this guy's armor is always the problem. Or, not his armor, his, his rage, I mean. Uh, yeah, just, just block. Just let his rage wear off. Okay. Yeah, I think that's fine. He dies this turn. Alright, good. Items... Uh, we do have the shoe hat. That's always worth taking. Uh, a poison potion. Uh, 
I might as well take a key for now. Okay, we have... Not too much to worry about here. That'll kill that one. Block. Okay. So now I need to kill you. You die to poison. Block absorbs everything you have. Good. And finish you off. Another level. Uh, actually not that. Let's just go for this. Okay. I can get a leather cap. I would like to get that tunic. How how can I rearrange this to get the tunic? That'll still leave four block there. That'll get four block there. Um... But that doesn't leave enough room for much else. I would have to give up the key. But I think that's okay. Alright, next fight. We're getting 23 armor a turn. That is what I like to see from my defenses. Perfect. And killed. Anything I really just need to take. Uh, no, I think I'm good without any of that. This is a big floor. What other stuff do we have here? Ooh, a ninja costume. I think I'll aim for the glove. Although there's a good chance... Okay, no, it's the conduit. Don't need the conduit at all. What about you? Uh, I could... Oof. Ooh, the these are some really good items. Okay, that gives me poison ivy... I have a good chance of not getting a curse. Okay, column chain star creates shurikens in each empty space in this column. I'll take it. Uh, that's still better than the stacking star, and more importantly, I actually have a research for that. More experience. Lucky Wraith, a gremlin, and a goblin. Okay. Lucky Wraiths are no problem. I can handle those. Oh, I have the... Ah, damn it. 
It's okay. I, I can still kill the Wraith this turn. That's not going to be a problem. And this guy by himself has zero chance of being able to get past my armor. Oh, holy crap. Okay, that's really good stuff. Um, Red Hoodie, when I take damage, adds three max HP. We've got two Lunar Blades. Adjacent weapons get plus one poison. Yeah, I will... I will absolutely take that. Uh, I think that's all I can afford to take. What do you have, Mr. Merchant? Oh, plate armor! Each turn adds eight block, but one slow. Slow is the one that reduces block. Definitely not worth trading in my tunic. A shortcut map. If I am going to sell anything, it would be the machete. What's... Uh, that's a curse chest. That is also a curse chest. Um... If I opened both of those chests, I might find something good, but I'm also going to pick up two curses. I think I'd rather just go for the forge. Um... Hmm... I think Rage to a melee weapon is my better option. But I feel like my chances of getting better weapons than this are very high. Uh... I think haste on the shield is better. I just realized I have no idea if haste triggers separately for every item that's adding block, or only one extra block total when it calculates the block total for a turn. Either way, that will let me have a defensive stacking option, and I think that's worth taking. I'm going to stack two haste, and we'll see if next turn it gives me 25 armor, or a lot more than 25 armor. Uh, it gave me 28, so haste minus 1 would be 23 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Haste triggers separately for every item I have that's adding block. Now I know that absolutely certainly. That is amazing news. Okay. I... Yes, I think we're good. Hmm. Let's just take this turn to stack some haste. Why not? And this turn as well. Your rage. Okay, yeah, now I have 43 armor this turn. Stack some more poison. And I think you die this turn. Perfect. Alright, a relic. 
Uh, this is the one that uh, would destroy all my weapons when I use them. So let's not. Whenever a status effect is removed, add burn equal to the amount removed. Hmm. Interesting. For every 40 gold gets one energy. Ooh. I think I'm fine without taking a relic, honestly. Uh, here. Why don't you take that star and this half-eaten meal out of my inventory? What kind of treasures do we have here? Oh! Uh, this is perfect. Okay, wooden blade. Uh... Yeah, same amount of damage, but less space. Banquet adds energy. I mean, I may as well take it if I have nothing else. Uh, never leave empty slots unless you actually have a reason to do it. Okay, next area. Do I want to go to the swamp or the deep cave? Um... I'm gonna go deep cave. Come on, purse. You can do this. Alright, card game. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it. This is not... Oh, oh, oh! No, damn it. Okay, lizard blade. Uh, what is this? Adjacent melee weapons get plus one damage. No, thank you. Alright, well, I was able to avoid getting hurt by a curse. The lizard blade is strong, but I'm probably not going to use it just because it costs two energy. So, we can sell that. We have frequently established that the club is one of the best items that I could hope to use. And a cap for a little extra armor? Why not? Okay. Let's see here. Yeah, you're not going to be able to kill me with your damage. Uh, you're going to lose your dodge just from the machete attack. So our next target will be you. Do whatever you want, boys. You are not going to get past my armor. And the club gives me an option for weakening stronger enemies, which is always a plus. The poison... Oh, that's the main difference between this and the other. The regular sword had one forge slot, and this blade has zero forge slot. Okay, that makes sense. Now I can actually really appreciate the difference between them. Attack all you want, boy. You are not getting through what I have. Chip sword is pretty damn good. It has more damage, and I could basically get... Two attacks from it in a turn for only one energy. No, I, th I think I still perform prefer my wooden blade. Uh, adjacent diagonal armor gets plus two block. 
Okay, hold on. Let me see what we got here. That's four, 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 five, and five. Four, four, four. Okay, so that would be 22, 27 total. This would be 10 plus 12, 22, 27. This makes 29 armor total. I could just go for, like, a big armor build. That increases... the damage on my wooden blade. Yeah, I th think letting the machete take the boost from the armor is more beneficial. Alright. Let's do this. We're starting with 33 armor a turn. Crossbowman is my target. Okay. Good. You die next turn. And start stacking poison on the armadillo. Not bad at all. It looks like my primary focus is definitely going to be on an armor stacking build. Let's get more slots over here. Uh, an ancient tome, that's fine. Don't really need me mana. Alright, first target, Lucky Rife. And that guarantees your death this turn. I've got enough armor to survive the turn. And stab, stab, stab. Poison is better than burn when the option exists, simply because it ignores armor. Okay. This is not a particularly complex build, but it is an effective build. And I think as I keep going, that's really where my focus should be. Oh! Adjacent additional... Adjacent diagonal armor gets plus one block. Uh, that is one less block per turn? But it is more passive. I think I like that. Volatile Potion, 30 damage to a target. Hmm. Uh, a hatchet 
is good to be used for free once per turn for a little bit of poison. Okay. Ah, it's this guy again. Alright, what should I aim for? The... Lucky Shiv would be really good to have. I think the Lucky Shiv's what I need to aim for. Uh, no, I went all the way to Anglerfish, and I really don't need the Violet Energy. Um, six regen to self and great luck. I mean, that is really, really, really good as just, like, an emergency item. Alright, who's the boss on this floor? Okay, it's gonna be the Badger. Rage to melee weapon. Um... Hmm. I can put down the slow to reduce their armor buildup, or I can go for burn. I think burn on the machete is good. And the rest is worth just holding on to. Okay, floor number five. It is you, my friend. What do you have for me? Ah, uh, the Fire Wand. Have no need of that. Alright, we got a Shadow Enemy. I actually haven't seen one of them in a while, to be honest. But I've got more than enough block to survive. I mean, I'm starting turns with 36 block. And I am... They actually very nearly got through my armor that turn. Okay. Now the shadow is all that remains. He has... Absolutely no chance of breaking through my armor. I just hope that this very simple build is actually going to be enough to survive the kind of battles that I'm going to be facing in, in the later areas of this run. Uh, it's the dart, 10 damage all enemies, a roof structure. No, I, th I think I'm okay with this. What do you have to offer? Energy to closing, three slow enemy to a weapon. Hmm. Putting three slow? onto the club to go with its three weak means that it is now an utterly perfect crippling weapon. I think you are the one that bothers me most. Okay. We can safely afford to get slime on the shield. What I can't afford to do is let you attack. Yeah, this is going to get real damn annoying with the slime. But at least I'm still not taking any damage. But this does mean I'm going to get a lot less armor this turn. Okay, that, that's not terrible. That's not, that's not a disastrously lesser amount of armor. 
You, however, really need to die. Okay, more slime. Yeah, I figured. Okay. Stab you. Stab you. No, I I gotta do that. I have to mitigate the hit from the crossbowman. Okay. Uh Dark Lady's potion. A basic staff. Nothing there really essential for me. Uh, what am I hoping for here? Uh, honestly, there is not much there that's actually important to me. We've got healing there, in case I actually get hurt. Okay, double crossbowman. That's actually pretty dangerous. This build definitely kills... ...slower than some others I have done. But it is very safe, and I do value that a lot. Okay. Good. You die next turn. You can't break my armor. Oh! Oh, I think I see a better way to organize this. Um, hold on. Why don't I... Just go like that. Uh, a brutal spear... Get stronger the turn that it's used. Cleansing Balm I'm not too worried about. If I get enemies that start stacking stuff, I just use my club on them. Uh, get a potion? Don't need a potion. Don't really need any of those. Don't really need any of that. I do need experience, though. I do need to keep building up my experience so I can get more slots in my inventory. Especially, I can open up three slots over here, and that'll leave even more room for armor that I can uh, let get boosted by various things. Okay. Good. You die next turn. Never mind, you die this turn. Okay. Uh, you die that turn. I can start stacking damage on the armadillo. Perfect. And three more slots. Uh, I could just put a hard hat there, honestly. Hmm. Uh... 
Adjacent weapons get plus two burn. Do I want two burn instead of one poison? It... You know, I think I do. But I could also have poison. I'll take one thing to re-roll. Alright, we've got two badgers. Fair enough. There we go. So, a single turn is enough to put down ten burn and three poison. That is quite a lot. bad at all. You die this turn. Goodbye. Nah, screw it. Just beat him with the club. I am honestly now running enough damage that at some point I may just get rid of the wooden blade and just rely on the club. But the time for that has not yet come. Okay, again, is there anything that I really, really want? I don't have any weapon. Uh, an extra two block on the night shield just in case might be a good idea. Alright, so I'm heading to the boss, and I will be able to re-roll its relic drops. That is absolutely the best situation I could hope for. Let's start applying some debuffs. The problem with this guy is just how much he is able to uh, just absolutely put out a ridiculous amount of, of damage from his abs. Uh, okay, your damage is now pretty mitigated. I can keep applying more debuffs to you. Okay, we're on another badger. How much damage is that between all of them? That is actually enough to break through my armor. Uh, 20... Okay, now it's not breaking the armor, and I'm still applying a lot of burn. Okay. So, you die in two turns. Still not getting through my armor. Okay. You go down in two turns. I can start applying way more debuffs to you. They nearly got through my armor that turn. You go down before you're going to hurt me. You've got 38 burn on you. I think we'll block, because the boss is dead this turn. So just block, and it ends. Perfect. Alright, 
I I want an actually really good relic. Energy starts at one and increases each turn. Ooh. Ooh. That that might be really, really, really good. Um Ooh. That really that really depends on the kind of ads that I end up going up against, too, though. Uh Or I can get the Belt of Knives, which is going to be going off every other turn. Uh, I fear... I fear big enemy groups. I think the Belt of Knives is my better option. Uh, ooh, a lance. Okay, now we are talking. Um, 11 damage to all enemies, plus one to energy cost this turn. Ooh. Ooh. But it is piercing, and it's got five forge slots. I... I think it's too good not to do. And I can take another silly hat. Is there any way I can still fit this in? Um, yes. Wait, hold on. Of course. I'm being silly. I can put it there. And that'll let me still hold on to that while grabbing that. And the lance is still doing two burn and one poison. And that's hitting all enemies every time I use it. Okay. That is really, really good. Let's hit the frozen heart. Okay. Okay. Uh, there's a pile of experience over there, and I'm going to run for it. Polar bears, they are all, all about dropping ridiculous quantities of hazards. But being able to drop this many debuffs on an entire group of enemies is damn good. Okay, good. Uh, that's not going to get through my armor, is it? That's 27. Uh, they actually are. So I'm going to have to weaken you a little bit. Good. Uh, you die this turn. Another free attempt to break the ice block. Alright, we're down to the polar bear, and one-on-one -on -one I am basically indestructible at this point. Break, crack, and crack, stab, and debuffs. I see a way that I can optimize my build further. Okay. 
So, first, let's just re-roll the rewards. Um... Uh, The Needler is really good? Needler is so damn good. I think I need to take it. Is there any way? Is there any way I can organize this where... Um... Hold on. Like this. Okay, okay. That's a good arrangement. And that still lets me bring in the shoe hat with the bonus. That is absolutely perfect. Wow. That is really, really strong. Uh, it isn't free, though. At this point, this is really going to depend on... Yeah, at this point... At this point, I think what I end up using is going to end up really depending um, on what I end up being offered at the forge. Okay, your spikes have dropped. Honestly, we may as well just weaken you? I see no reason to risk any more difficult strategy when this should be completely fine. Uh, all I have to do is just not let you take advantage of me on the terms turns where you have spikes. But I can still stack more debuffs on you than you can handle, so... Really not worried about this, Glory Hunter. Okay. Uh, we can re-roll. When a Jace item is destroyed, plus two block this combat. That... That does not contribute to me. Alright, a little bit of experience... Locked chest, potion. What does the merchant sell? Dark headband. When a wand kills an enemy. Well, that's not really going to be happening much. Uh, I can sell the fish for 10 gold, buy the right glove, which is good for 3 block at least. Guess it's time to see what the forgeman can offer. One rage to a melee weapon. Okay. That is what I've kind of... I can stack multiple rage on my lance. I can afford two rage already. On a weapon attacking multiple times in a turn. That is really good. Uh, that also means that the Needler is no longer going to be my primary weapon. It, it's, it's just not going to matter. 
Okay, our target is Amalia, Hand of Monad, Bearer of the Elder Blood. I don't think I have ever gone up against this one? Interesting. Let's stack a whole ton of debuffs. I am going to make it that you are completely incapable of defending yourself or damaging me. There we go. Now we start stacking debuffs like a lunatic. Okay. 14 damage to all enemies. 16 damage to all enemies. And it's piercing. Their armor means nothing. I ignore their 45 armor each. Sure, why not even more rage? 20 damage to all enemies. 22 damage to all enemies. That's kind of insane. Look, they have so much armor on each of them, and it does nothing. Uh, adjacent and diagonal weapons get plus two damage. Okay. On alternate use, selected weapon permanently gets a plus 25% bonus damage. Okay, this now permanently gets a 25% damage bonus. That's kind of crazy. Uh, cave fish regeneration, liquid. No, I'll I'll take liquid armor. I have a ridiculously strong build right now. I'm perfectly willing to risk a curse at this point. Uh, Wild Buckler is actually for research. Can be used one time each combat for 18 block. And this adds even more block. Oh, man. They even had, like, an... Oh, a beautiful, beautiful bow, too. Yeah, I think this is going well. Am I gonna fight King? No, alright, I'm not fighting King today. Get a different item of the same rarity. Uh, really don't need that, but thank you. Okay, we got a polar bear. Let's just drop the lance. I have nearly killed most of the enemy unit already. That is kind of insane. Yeah, you got nothing. Level up. Perfect. Okay. Um. No, no, that's, that's fine. Uh, because I can move these up and it still boosts all of those. Let's re-roll. Ooh, a cap. I can also get yet another leather cap? Sure, even more armor. And, I mean, it's not much, but... Sure, another three block. And I now have enough gold to afford another bit of rage on my lance. Wow. Okay. 
onto the eighth floor. I I I'm really feeling it now. This feels like the run. Lamps and lamps. Oh my god. And we lance, and we lance. And just in case I'm in a situation where I have to stop the enemy's um, offensive capabilities, I can just keep stacking weak and slow. Holy crap. And I'd say... Yeah, maybe I'll run into another forge on this floor. Ooh! Banshee Buckler. Okay, no, that one's not for research. Glitch Potion destroys any item. Stacking Star, don't need that. Honestly, being able to remove uh, status effects from myself might come in handy? Okay. Let's start stacking. Forty-eight damage. Uh, yeah, I'm not afraid of taking the hit from the static. Why not? You're not getting through my armor, at least. Ooh, you want to hit me with poison? You really are a jerk. Fine. Die next turn before you can even do that. Good. And you're dead. Item... Ooh, the Blessed Shiv. On kill creates a blessing. Cool drink for energy. Hmm. I mean, that's even more block. Ah, screw it. Okay. I guess we'll go fight here. Hello, everyone. And you're hurt, and you're hurt. We've gone from four enemies to two. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. Crack the block. How much is this hitting for? Like, 33 damage. Oh my god. That is so damn powerful. Four uses for an energy. Ooh. Ooh, or a big fin for five rage? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, man. There's such good items here. But I... I am... I am dedicated to this build. I... I'm doing way too well to start, you know, altering my options at this point. Totally fine. I can take the lightning. We just get rid of that. And... Uh, I am actually going to take some damage from the poison. I am genuinely impressed. Just kidding, I have no status effects. Weapons in this row or column get plus three damage this combat. Oh dear god. 
Uh, why the hell not? Oh my god, I just want this experience. You guys are making it so hard to get it. Why? Can't you tell that I'm a hideous eldritch monstrosity and you have no hope of defeating me? Just give up! This is probably in, in like, the top five strongest runs that I've ever done in this game. Uh, nothing really interesting there. Alright, there's a few experience. Uh, can't open that. Can't open that. Uh, you sell some pretty good stuff. But nothing that I actually need? Uh, yeah, let, let's just drop it right here and see what happens. It lands in the spaghetti. One energy and ten block. Uh, that's better than getting a mug that deals five damage. How about this forge? This might be the last forge I get. Uh, add two burn to a weapon. Yeah, I think that sounds like a good plan. Okay. Burn to the weapon. Uh... I've used, uh, all of that. Alright, let's go for a fight. And after this fight, I can go and uh, sell off the piggy bank because, well, I don't think I'm going to need it anymore. As far as I know, I am heading to the final bosses. Oh, well, hello. Adds five slow, five weak to all enemies. I mean, I don't really need the whetstone. Debuff potion is pretty good. Yeah. Okay. I have made it at last. To the end of the Frozen Heart. And there is an exit. I will be able to reach the last area, or what I think is the last area. Oh, my dark, dark lady. You are so tremendously screwed. What do these do? Alright, it turns into a malediction at the end of my turn but I don't remember what a malediction does. I... Okay, I don't think it actually did anything. I got this. I got this. You die this turn, and I level up. Oh, no, wait. That's right. You have multiple phases. Which is really unfortunate for you, because I'm stacking six rage every single turn. 
yeah, um, about your minions. So... I can now kill them in a single turn. Yeah. You got nothing, Dark Lady. Okay, two spaces. Items. Oh. I... Ooh. I think I'm going to take the bomb stone. So that if I have to, I can deliver one big, massive kill at the end. I can drop it onto a lance. There it is. At long last, I have reached the chaotic darkness. Oh no! Did the chaotic darkness take my mother? There's nothing down here. Here we go. The Chaotic Darkness Finale. Disorder. Mom? It is my mom. Okay. Okay. I know how to do this. I am going to start by stacking absolute crap loads of debuffs. Holy crap, 12 poison. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. If you're gonna be stacking that much poison on me? No, we're, we're going straight for the kills. Um... Oh boy, that is really going to hurt. Okay. Holy crap, that is so much poison. Oh my god. But I can still deal enough damage. Yes, okay. I assume you'll hit a phase change. Okay. Disorder. Mom? So, sturdy. When 560 damage is received this turn, add 999 block? That's not gonna do a damn thing. I pierce. Uh, this hex is now free to eliminate. Okay. Two lances. Get the energy for a block. And hit you once with the club for a damage reduction. Oh, shite. No, I can't. Damn it. I don't have any way of getting rid of the poison. I'm gonna lose. <sighs> that is so damned annoying. I really thought the last phase... I really thought they wouldn't be able to apply more poison before they shifted. And I was wrong. Well, 
I could go out with a bang and hit him for 200 damage with my lance. That just su that just sucks so much. So this was essentially unwinnable without being able to cleanse debuffs. And I basically had no way to know that. That really sucks. That really, really sucks. And now I'm going to have to do another complete run. <sighs> Damn it. That is so disappointing. Well, I got at least one thing to use with my research, and uh, at least I have scouted that last boss. So, at least I now know what to expect. That's, that's better than nothing. I have gained valuable, even vital information. <sighs> but I'm not ending this episode until I win. So I'll see you in a minute when I get back there with a completely different build. Alright, I am back with another very good, very powerful run. This time, however, I have the advantage of having access to a lot of extra energy through this tusk that's two extra energy per turn, uh, an absolute metric ton of burn, and this clean burn item, which I can play on one of my items to remove status effects from myself and destroy both it and the item I put it on, which should trigger the spice and presumptively provide two more energy when I do it. So, I think I am in a good position, and on top of that, we're going to start by eating the anglerfish for six regeneration. So, at the end of just my first turn, we've got 50 burn on this. I can also use this blessed pig to create blessings at the cost of three gold each. That effect does not have a limit. Boom, there's Ambrosia. And this is a Miter. Uh, for each row below, plus three block. All right, I'll take it. Uh, actually, I think I'll put it here. Now, I do have to be careful about where I place things because this wooden sword uh, it will be disabled if there's a consumable in the same row or column. But otherwise, I think it's going to be alright. Uh, the hex, I think... I think I'm okay to just disable this. Alright, so they're going to put out 12 poison this turn. That's a crap load of poison. But it is going to immediately switch to phase two. Uh, a lucky charm. I really don't need additional luck this turn. You are invincible. Does it clarify that? Like, does that mean I won't take damage from poison? Because if that's the case, I, I really need to find out. Okay, there's my poison. 
So we will see if I take damage at the end of my turn. I think I might take the damage and then it will just instantly destroy Anna's ring. If I had to guess, because it does specifically specify the combat damage symbol, and this also specifies that symbol. In the meantime, let's just keep applying block, or burn, I mean. If I do take the damage, I can still get rid of it with my clean burn, and with... Okay, that did work exactly the way I had anticipated. So first thing I need to do is immediately get rid of that. So we're going to play this on... This will destroy it, right? Yes. Okay. So we destroy that. It did trigger the spice. I'm up to seven energy this turn. I've cleared some extra inventory slots for blessings. I am no longer poisoned. We can get rid of the hex. Swipe at this thing with my massive sword. Create blessings. Golden carp. Can't do anything with it. Too big. Uh, nectar, three burn, three poison, and three freeze to an enemy. We'll go ahead and use that. Uh, they do have over 900 block right now. But they also have stacked on them 187 burn and 44 poison. Holy crap. Okay, yeah, this phase is all about having debuffs to get through that armor, I think. Okay, Blessed Pig. Uh, oh, another Miter. Okay, that's good for even more armor. That's another Golden Carp. That doesn't work. Uh, Ambrosia. That provides Dodge, Rage, Haste. Okay. Uh, yeah, they're not going to survive this next turn. I did it. I actually did it. I have defeated Disorder. And rescued my mom. Oh, Purse, I got all mixed up down here. I knew you would set everything right. <sighs> I did it. I actually did it. Oh, boy. That was an absolutely insane insane run that I did. Wow. What, what an amazing, amazing time that was. This is... In complete sincerity, this is um, one of the best indie games I have played all year. This is absolutely phenomenal. The gameplay is unique, it's amazing, the art style, the music, it's so captivating. And even now, having beaten, like, the main story, there is so much more I can do with this. There's so many modes I can do, there's so many challenges. Uh, I can continue to beautify my town, try to get every single research. My goodness, look at how many people supported this through Kickstarter. I do not blame them one bit, and I hope that every single one of these people is just absolutely as, as happy and satisfied and blown away by this as I am. We are still only in the seas. It, it is going to take a while to go through all those names. Wow.
Th this game is a masterpiece. It's brilliant. It is absolutely brilliant. And even the different heroes that you can play as provide so much variety in how it works. And uh, from what I've read, apparently... Ugh, apparently, uh, they're still going to be adding even more heroes, even more content to this game. It's actually going to be getting ongoing support. Absolutely worth the purchase. Absolutely worth playing. Beyond a doubt. This is a beautiful, beautiful game. There we go. <laughs> That's toward the end of the, uh, toward the end of the credits. Th those went on for a while. Congratulate. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, it's it's referencing the infamous uh, Ghostbusters in text. <sighs> Congratulations, indeed. We hope you had fun. Thank you for playing. Absolutely worth it. Uh, does that unlock anything new? I'll bet it does. The dungeon was spilling out into the world above. I knew I had to face it, to return organization. But the chaos down there, it consumed me. I'm just happy you're safe. It's so good to see you again. Purse, I don't know if I'll ever be the same. But I do know that I'm thankful for you and all you've done. The scars on me remain, but the burden on Ordaria is lifted. You saved us from the chaos of that place. I'm not done yet. I'm still going to collect everything I can from that place. You always did love organizing things. Even as a little pop, you would gather stones. They were always spilling out of my pockets. <laughs> Parameters fulfilled. Mission successful. My personal hero. Definition. Reference to Purse. She is really cool. Bleep boop. And I have now unlocked hard modes for characters. You're more than a robot to me. You're a friend. Friend. My program says this is meaningless. But still, it makes me happy. Hello. Who else wants to talk? Don't think I didn't see you running off. Man, that was radical! You totally did it! Oh, I was like harmony to your melody! Supporting you is such a jam. Great work, Purse! We got Satchel Hard Mode. Can't believe we had to fight. I had to know you had rhythm! Poche! So you saved your dad, saved your mom, and saved the whole realm of Ordaria. But I'll never stop training. If you ever slow down, Purse, me and my pets will be there to help you move forward. So glad to have you with us. And you really do smell a lot better now. I still enjoy a good mud bath. Oh, I'm going to admit it. It's all thanks to you. It's all thanks to all your hard work. The threats you faced and the challenges you overcame. Thanks to you and you alone. My campaign was saved! Yep, villagers just weren't comfortable voting for me when animals were being kidnapped and corrupted by the dungeon. But thanks to your help, reflection is re-election is a guarantee. Uh, but just in case, can I get your endorsement? Oh, uh, one more thing. We just got a new blueprint from Doug. Oh, uh, really? Oh, a heroic statue, and of course it's of the mayor. Of course, something to celebrate what I've done for this town. Oh, you. I studied everything I could, but nothing prepared me for what you can do. Rescuing Prada like that? It was so cool. And now we hang out. She makes really good mushroom soup. And another hard mode. I'm always learning from you. That's the true magic of our friendship. Uh, hey, I think I found something for you to read. 
I think I have a lot of stuff in my inventory. Uh, yeah, the Hymn of Ordaria. In Ordaria's realm, where creatures dance, holds wonder and danger in equal chance. Now in disorder and chaos untold, a land once built on peace in times of old. And a brand new outfit for my birdly friend. Alright, and... It is so good to have Prada back in town. She helps me organize the shelves. And her sense of humor. I'm always laughing all day. Great job, Purse. But uh, listen, we could always use more stuff to sell. And there is the hard mode for Purse. So many more challenges. So many more things that I could do. But as far as my series is concerned, this is where things end. One journey is over, and more yet lie ahead. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all on the next one.